Hi everyone and welcome in to a let's play and I'm not doing it in a while because like I said in my previous vlog me watching that because the World Cup was on and I would rather watch that and do gameplays because I just love football but anyway uh, anyway forget that so now um, we're going to be playing some Crackdown on the old free six we could call it well well the console yeah the console is actually old yeah but I meant the game is old but yeah we could say the three six is old now it's like about what eight and nine years old now well about eight years old yeah so this is Crackdown one of the very early games that came out and one of the very few free roaming games that came out on the system because I think the only free roam game at the time I can think of before this was Just Cause and that was another fantastic game I don't have that on 360 but I do have that on PC and you might see me play a list on my channel you'll see a few episodes I've done of a let's play on it so anyway so yeah we're gonna play this an absolute classic I absolutely adored back when I played it I just loved the graphics of, I call it shelling or something it's like um like it's like the good graphics but it feels more cartoony-esque yeah so we'll get straight into it so we've got our characters you can play solo you can have co-op but it's, quite, it's the early days of uh, online on the 360 you're only, you're only allowed two on this so we've got our characters. Now some of them um, goes up to which guy is it now? This guy. Then after the, these ones here now with the helmet and the mask, the DLC, which you can download free as well. But I've also got some extra DLC which I've bought in the past where you can have extra cars and weapons and things like extra tracks and races and activities. But I'm not too fussed about them. Uh, but yeah, I got racing, which are quite fun to do. That's like a different uh, thing. It's not on. F there's, there is racing on the campaign, but there's also another option of racing on its own, which is okay. Right, so we are going to pick. I don't know. Um, I'll pick the. No, I'll just pick the black dude because I always played it as him when I used to um, play this back in the day. I just think he was just a badass, so that's why I picked him. Yeah, it's a metal character. God, it's so weird because when I had him, all my stats were high up, so he was like absolutely bulked up, like he's like an incredible Hulk. He was absolutely enormous, but it's because now I've uh, started from the beginning, starting fresh. Oh, he's running so slow compared to before. Wow. Got me vehicles, I got that. Which is that little two seater sports coupe convertible. Little uh, four wheeler off road thing, but once you upgrade it, well, once you upgrade and you get you got turned into like a friggin' monster truck, and you got another truck. And where's my secret weapons? There we go, these are them. Yeah, can you start with Peacekeeper? But these here are my DLC, which I've got now. Which one's rocket? That's what a triple rocket launcher. That's yeah, those little machine guns, and that's just a mad race car, which is just so hard to drive it's just insane that just looks menacing doesn't it colour oh that's nice no I keep it black um do you know what we'll have the little go kart because it has little machine guns on it let's go off into the world so now what I've got to do is there's three gangs in this city is there a map on here I can show you yeah right right so you can see the map there are three um, well now there's three sections with gangs, so the agency's the middle where I'm at, there, so that's where my, my, my headquarters is, and then the first we've got, uh, yeah, Los, Los Mertos, I think they're called, like the Spanish-Mexican cartel, they're on that side of the island, so you got, that's the other side, and this is the ones I do, these like you call, which you could say, um, the easiest of the bunch you could say and it's undiscovered you can find them along the lines of running around and I roughly know where some of them are but if you don't know where they are in about a couple of minutes the agency will update and you say hey we found a, one of the gang hideouts you gotta kill them basically kill all the gang until you get to number six which says they're unreachable and that's where the boss is but I know where he is in because if you see on your top um well about northeast there's a little island that's where one of the bosses are go straight to him but it's gonna be hard to do because I'm doing it straight because I'm because I've hardly any uh, special abilities anyway, so I'll, get, I'll just get completely murdered. So if I go around just doing the little bosses in the, in the little cities and that, then it'll boost my chances to win because it'll make them less 
um, less effective to kill, if you know what I mean. Uh, so what I'll do is, so we've got them, and then we've got the Vault, which are like the Russian gang. They're, they're a bit more harder. They are a bit of a challenge. And then you've got Shang, is it Shang Yen? Yeah, Shang Yen. And they are a, they are really hard, but they've got some nice weapons. So yeah, as well, if you kill the gang, you can nick the, if you collect their weapons, you go back to like an agency on one of these, um, your checkpoints, what are they called? Supply, that's supply points, that's it. Um, you can save the weapon, you can use them as your own. So yeah, so we'll, right, without further ado, I've told you what's happening, because like, basically the story is, these three gangs I just showed you, they're dominating the place and the ancient is sick of them and they just want to get rid of them. So I'm, so I'm on my own to help. And there's, there's peacekeepers, they really do nothing. They, all they do is, like, if you take over a gang or an area and you've completed it, they'll just hang around and hold on to it and that's just it. So that's pretty much it. You just gotta clear them all out and it finishes the game, you completed it. Woo! Oh, I missed that good stunt jump thing. Right, let's go kill him. Got one. So that little dossier thing that I was just telling you what I was saying about the gangs. So I need to show it, you know. Because I've already told you about them, so right, I've killed these guys. Also, these cars, which are nice. If I take one of them and take it down to my agency, I can store that car and that's mine. But I can't be bothered. Right, there's a little thing up here, weren't there? Oh, can I jump up here? Oh, hang on. It's so, hang on. God, oh, I got it. Yeah, these little green things are brilliant for me. If I can collect a lot of them, they'll let me jump higher. And that's one thing that really helps in this game to get a lot of height. Also, this game does have music, proper music, but I have to turn it off because of, well, you know, the score with YouTube and music. As a beacon flashing, that's my supply point. So if I unlock that, then I can start my game lower. Oh, see, they don't like me, so they'll just kill me. See, see peacekeepers are trying to help me. Whoa! Oh, I was one of them. Yeah, the, the fly around you, like, flies around, um, doodah. If you kill one of the gang members, they will come after you. And also the peacekeepers will come after you if you start killing civilians and... I mean, just dicking around, basically. Right, the supply point is around here, so... Do you want to get out of here first? Ah, that's why, because they've got it. Trying to get used to controls, not played this in a while. The fight for the yeah. It's time for you to show the how it's done. The beam of light in your Where's he going? Oh, the one of them's killed him for me. There you go. Unlocked it. Now this is a fun point. You can start selecting your weapons. So I can come back to the same time and change weapons like we didn't want. Well, that pistol could use this harpoon gun. That's a DLC gun. I think this is a DLC gun as well, a minigun. And a, a Colby Lobber. I have never heard of them before. But a minigun sounds fun to me. Um, I have that. Uh, I don't know, some of these are the DLC weapons, so... We'll, we'll try that for now. We'll try this setup for now. Yeah, I can't go to these other supply points. I've not unlocked them yet. I want to find these gang. Now let's show these gangs who's boss. Oh, this one is. This is a gang guide out. There we go. Telling me him. Can remember this this nightclub casino thing. Oh, something different. Thanks to his loyal bangers, knows everything about anything on the streets. Residing in the heart of the multi-level hillside housing development on Lamu. Yeah, I can't have reading that because I know they are. Not move. It's not that far away. Oh, brakes not so good on this. I'll have to mean out cops. Trying to pit this car is horrible to drive. 
Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, this is it. Oh, weapons. <sighs> oh, seriously? The armor's gone, so they'll kill me in a second. Whoa! Never used that uh, grenade before. Nice. Whoa! Well, that wasn't me, I don't think. I don't think that was me. See, I have to, it's up there, I have to go. Up there, but... I'm just trying to find a way out to do it. I thought it was the first level. Did you just kill someone then? Bastard. Ah, yes, there we go. I'm in, I'm in, I think this is it. Helpful. Right, here we go. Whoa! Get in. Oh, don't it fall over him. Hang on, is I up into? Ah, it's one of the bosses, I think. Watch my health. So he's up here somewhere, the boss. There he is. Throw a grenade, throw a grenade at him. And again, again. Just keep throwing grenades at him. Yeah, for g that's it. As long as you kill him, that's fine. So what I'll do is, instead of just killing the rest of these gangs, just run away. <laughs> just run away. <laughs> oh, it's deep. Oh, I'm going to die, Anna. Watch this. I'm going to die now. Watch. Oh, I'm not so bad if I'll die because of the big jump. There's a hideout around here somewhere. The gas station. That does ring a bell. Oh, I'm gone. Can I have that car? Go and have this crappy one. No, actually. All these cars, which is the beddies, get lost. Um, yeah, there's a gang hideout out around here somewhere. Um, oh, hang on, it might be straight on. Here it is. Oi. This is it. Yes, he's in. Yeah, let's just say it's not going to be easy for me, but let's prove him wrong, eh? I know where the boss is anyway, he's around the back. Get out of the way, bitch. Throw grenades. Oh, I just realised what this that thing is. It makes me invisible. Yeah, that's under. Yeah. My health isn't looking too good. Oh, 
Oh my god. I don't think they can see me. Could stay of them. Whereabouts is there? I'm gonna get a shotgun. Effective in it, up oh, oh, close. Is he downstairs? Where else is there? I can hear him talking. Is he? I know he's around here somewhere. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Quick, get him, get him, get him. Oh, thank you for helping me then. Quake, you're gonna die. No, oh, I've just killed myself. So you know, like once you've killed them all. Oh god, I should run over peacekeeper, little bastard. Right, let's see if we can get it again. Go invisible. Stealthy. See, still destruction around here, so. Right, you ready? Invisible, because they can't see me. <gasps> What's that him? Quick, 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 quick. Got him! Easy peasy. Right, can I run off now for the kill me? Run away! Jose Guerra's timely demise spells the end of his club and of Los Muertos' fertile drugs operation. This represents a serious blow to a loathsome but lucrative trade. Yeah, it tells you like the aftermath, like what happens. Like, if you take these cool bosses out and that, they're the key to that. Like, the the main power, like if you kill like a, a science lab, it destroys a, like the secret weapons because you destroy the lab or the factories where they do the weapons and that. If you can just take them out first and it cripples the boss's enterprise so you can, it's easier to f finish it like the finale boss, so to speak. Thanks for watching guys, if you want me to carry on doing this, I gladly will do if you want me to. Uh, just comment below and let me know, let me know, what's that, let me know. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Like I said, let me know if we do a part two and I'll gladly do it. So thanks for watching guys and bye bye. Let's go invisible. Chameleon. <laughs> bye guys.